so as part of this process you have uh, data gaps data issues data anomalies that are being uh, reported okay so uh, the data basically uh, that are being reported um, so your role would be to understand what the issue is okay what is causing that issue what kind of different types of uh, permutation combinations or what are the different types of uh, issues that is found or can be found mm -hmm. and uh, try to uh, make up some kind of uh, effective controls so that uh, whenever such kind of issue is being spotted there is an alert that generates and it results in some kind of exception or some kind of trigger or something of those sorts okay that's one requirement uh, the second requirement uh, is basically all of this but for the entire bank as a whole so there you can have say thousand plus applications mm -hmm. in total the third requirement that i was talking about is uh, more from a ba rule where you basically have sorry um, the there are like you have a legacy system which is getting migrated into the current platform mm -hmm. so as part of this migration there are many consumers of the legacy system so they have or they kind of request kind of certain apis to pull in the data so what our responsibility would be to understand what their requirements is and try to help the developer team build uh, the required apis that is understanding what the uh, direct match for that attribute mm -hmm. might be and then possibly helping them out and then do data comparison and things of those sorts and based on which uh, uh, proceed with uh, or uh, healthy clients with their requirements so just to understand which of uh, the profiles basically uh, uh, you prefer more based on which i can subject i for the questions <laughs> So, or is this something you want to do or have as a goal kind of in your near term future <clears throat> if not then i guess we'll have to uh, decide upon it no actually it's very hard to do a very specific thing like if i said like i want to my target is to be a data engineer in future but if i say a learning path so i think this one would be a best learning to grow further and because overall data quality and uh, you no know, maintenance of data is the key of any job role if i say data specific job doesn't matter data analyst business analyst or if i pick up any one profile then the main thing is to maintain the data accuracy and overall the goal is to improve the process if i pick up any profile so i think this this one is the best door to learn and grow okay so do you have any kind of experience in data profiling uh the data profiling in the sense like uh, can you little bit elaborate so i can analyzing the data yeah. kind of exactly so as of now what i have done i closely work with the financial data so whatever requirement comes with me i closely analyze because if i if i consider a single company they have multiple affiliates of the same company so it is very essential or important to maintain the confidentiality like if affiliate customer from affiliate part is calling up and saying i want data from my parent company then it is very difficult to share the data because it is a financial data so to maintain the data quality and the validation <coughs> first of all is important so yeah in my day to day activity if you say yeah, i i do the data validation closely and work accordingly so 
so can you elaborate what kind of data validation you do uh, first of all i check the uh, customer id customer id in the sense the whether the requirement who whoever has raised that requirement is belong to same company or not is from the same umbrella or not or if he is he is from the same then he is he is eligible or he is allowed to ask for the same data or not then whatever requirement is directly coming in so i we don't share that directly we first check who they are and why they are asking that information and uh, secondly if they are allowed or they are the one who who are the point of contact who are responsible for this data then we do a validation like uh, whatever information i'm sharing i first check with the finance team and uh, stakeholders specifically the account manager of that particular company if they are validating and confirming yeah you can go ahead and share that information then i share that whatever requirement is there i share that with the respective team or person so here i also work with the partner in customer and stakeholders so uh, we, i just keep the confidentiality and you no know, because if i share directly the data then it could result a data leakage they can raise another exception for another customer like it happened long back like a sales team they called and they asked for the financial data for xyz company they used that data to build up a new agreement for another company and they raised an exception and stating you had approved the some sort of you know they approved some amount to be ex- ex- as an exception for this this customer so we are also expecting this so this kind of thing happened so we have to keep the confidentiality this happens okay got it now um so do you have any kind of experience in data mapping Right, yeah in data mapping uh, mostly i used in the excel part like i not did in on server on online platform but uh, let's say if there is a old enterprise agreement had old nomenclature of the products and uh, the company has launched new enterprise agreement and they have the new versions of the same product but the different naming in my ad hoc report i have the old list of the old product but now i have to prepare the new one because the things are changed i have to map the entire list of product to relevant product suit sometimes suits change products shuffle happens so in that case i had done the data mapping within the excel excel sheet itself and in the back end the team does it while uploading the data so how do you go about with this process uh first of all i i check the look up thing to check also i put the certain conditions like if the product name is this then the respective product would be result in the new let's say if old product name is a and a new product name is b then i just map it accordingly if a is identified then it will populate b in the ad hoc report in front end okay so you basically use a v look up v look up x look up and sometime uh, if condition like okay uh, so is that the only thing that you do or do you do any other validations if you do any other validations what kind of validations i do the validations like uh, if there is any garbage value or missing value is within the data set or if the mm-hmm. let's say if the sales team is coming up asking for specific record for the web order id and uh, when i check that in my server like i route a sql query and check for the relevant records for that particular web order id and let's say if the record itself like list price or product name is missing within the record then i first confirm with if they are looking for the same record or something else or if they confirm yeah they are looking for the same record but the record itself is missing like within the data feeds then i check with the back end team it team and i get the relevant pid id or the list price details from the it team and do a manual changes in ad hoc report and parallelly i raise another it case to update the same record in the server so that if next time the same request comes in picture then i can directly pull run the query and pull out the relevant data and share with them what is your proficiency level with regards to sql 
on sql like i didn't work closely like i am not developer but whatever experience i have out of five i can rate myself three because there is a lot a lot more things to learn uh, as of now i learned the sub queries and the basic and some logic i can build within the sql and pull out the data like i mo mostly i perform the multiple joints and uh, sub queries what are sub queries and like can it be done in different way yeah it depends on the requirement like i can perform the joint and sub query sometimes join and sub query can give me the same result but joining the multiple table can result uh, you know larger time to run the query comparatively if i write a sub query instead of joining multiple table then it will take some it will give me some quick result like it will reduce the amount of time also depends on the situation and the criteria okay so are you currently serving a notice or you are yet to serve your notice i am serving my notice period actually um, no. if i may know what's your last working day uh, it is 21st of january one last question from my side mm -hmm. like how can you improve the quality of data uh, that exists in a current uh, database or in a current table so what kind of steps do you basically uh first of all i will try to understand the data like what kind of data it is and what are the different attributes are there within the data and secondly to maintain the quality i will first try to understand how this data has been updated manually or systematically if it is manually then i would check the how the process followed to update that data if there is a lack in the process because sometime it happens uh, if we uploading or filling the data manually the refigures are not up to date sometime it changes with time can you just give me one minute yeah yeah sure sure Sorry, had to take this urgent call. Okay, okay, no problem. Yeah, sorry, where will be? Yeah, to maintain steps to maintain the data quality. Yeah, so yeah, first yeah. of all, uh, like I said, I will check how the data is updated in that particular data set. I will try to un understand the process, and secondly, I will check the relationship between the different attributes within the data sets, or if the data is coming from the different tables, then I will try to understand the relationship, like it is one to one or one to many, and uh, after that, I will try to um, check if uh, I can add the unique identifier number to each record, where I can identify each record separately in order to duplicate. in order to avoid duplicate records and uh, yeah i think these things are essential and there are lots of but i think this one are the most essential one okay perfect um, do you have any specific questions for me uh like i uh, don't have because initially you briefed me so i do not have any question at the moment but yeah i see a lot of learning in this particular profile so it's good to know. Okay. Are you currently holding any other job opportunities in hand? Yes, I have one offer, but uh, it is from Delhi, so I have to travel okay. to Delhi. So that's why I am still looking for alternate option to stay back in Pune. Okay, cool. Uh, give me a day's time. I'll speak with my manager and also with the HR team, mm -hmm. and we shall be in touch with you. Sure, sure, definitely. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Bye. Bye.